Welcome back to Modded Ark Survival Evolved on the Pugnacia server that I've uh, selected. It's just an unofficial server. Um, the the guys, the admins are really, really great on this server. I like like them a lot. Um, really wonderful people. Very helpful, and they keep a a nice, you know, kind of clean chat. Uh, not that, you know, swear words don't bother me at all, but I know other people get offended by it. And, you know, if you don't have to use that language to offend people, why bother? So whatever, it's not a big deal, but I do like the way they run the server and the mod pack that they've got on it. It's really good. I was just doing a little snail wrangling over here. Um, get some of these guys out of the way in preparation for a little more base expansion. Let's grab this gas real quick and... We, uh, I forgot last last episode, I didn't turn on the generator. I got the fridges going. This one, I've just been putting some meat and spoiled meat. And this one, I've got uh, some berries and the organic polymer. And uh, now that they've set a spoil timer on rare mushrooms, I like to keep them in the fridge. So um, there's that. So um, I'll add more fridges and things as we go. But for now, I've made up a few uh, foundations and, and miscellaneous bits and parts here. Um, for just a little bit of base building, nothing, nothing massive, but um, I just want to throw down a few more uh, foundations, get this thing kind of squared out a little bit, and start working on a few walls. So we're just going to plop these guys here. Now I do love the S plus foundations. You can stack them, so you know if I wanted to, I could place one right there or whatever. You don't need to. Um, I may have to do some foundation stacking as I get kind of to the limit of this, the edge of this area, but we're, we're not even remotely close to that yet. Um, what I do want to put though, is an area where I can just ride the dinos in. Um, so I've got a couple of these guys and we're going to place, let's come out to the outside here and I'm just going to place some gateways there. I'll put uh, probably foundations or stairs or something um, there. And then on the opposite side, I'm going to place another one here. And um, I, I don't think I made the gates for them yet, but it doesn't matter. We're not going to be able to put all the walls and some more gas. That's always nice. So then uh, let's see here. I want to put some doors and I like the double door frames and the double doors. They just, I don't know. I don't know if it's aesthetic or functional, but I like them either way. So I'm going to put one on either side of these guys like so and we can pop our doors in there and that's that's good for now um, the other thing I added um, I did was uh, some of these large walls um, I don't know like I'll probably move this stuff around, but I'm going to put these guys in here like so for now. And we can just pick them up and move them whenever we need to uh, later on, uh, which is fine. And then um, I'm going to put one there too. And I might put, uh, let's pick this up. I don't, I don't like that right there. I might put a doorway here so I can just walk in and go underneath stuff. Um, that might not be a bad idea. And uh, But I've got a, a few more of these. So let's see. Uh, put them behind the fridges. so and then I think I'm going to expand out a little bit more um, but we're going to we'll put this last one right there now we'll need some more walls obviously and more doors I, I'll make a couple more door frames I think right now let's do one two three more door frames and three more double doors and I think then do I have, did I make any regular walls? I thought I did. I did. Here they are. So we'll grab this stuff then. 
I'll leave the foundations there for now. And we'll do this. And then, yeah, I'm thinking, let's go ahead and place a door like right there. And let's put one over here. Oh, frame first. And like that. This is all going to change. I don't, I'm not like, my heart's not set on that particular configuration of stuff. But um, at least it'll get us, get us something going here. Like so. A little something to get started with. Uh, maybe let's make six more of those type of walls. Seven, eight, nine more of those type of walls. And then I'll need two of the gate frames, which are the gates. Um, I don't think I have learned that Ingram yet, so let's just look up gate. And we're looking for it's a dinosaur gate. Yeah, that's the reinforced one, and we want the S plus reinforced. So that's that. And we will make two of those. And that'll be these. And then we'll be able to just ride our dinos in um, that way. Now our snails should be mature very, very soon. And I want to get them all shoved into their little box. Oh, it looks like yeah, we're at 91.5% on those. So that'll be nice to get those guys out of the way and get them on wander because they don't produce unless they're on wander. So that's, that's what we're going to do with that. There we go. We're getting a little something here. Getting a little bit of a structure built. Yeah, I'll probably move this door right here. Actually, yeah, I like that a lot. So what I want to do then, in order to move things around, the best way to do it is, you know, instead of jumping to demolish and all that stuff, is I'm going to learn the S Plus Demo Gun. And um, I'll also go ahead and get the model selector while I'm at it. But um, the Demo Gun is great when you want to like just demolish something that's out of reach so I'll grab a, a little bit of thatch and we're gonna craft up a demo gun I think it's one thatch to make this and then I can just do this I'll just put it on seven for now Switch over there and grab those. And grab that and that. Great. Now I can just take these. No, I don't need to put it on a hotkey. We'll just place that there. Oh, oh, I gotta take the gun off. There. Now we can place it. We'll place our door back. And now we can put our walls on top so and then I'll get another large wall there and we'll need more large walls and so forth uh, but I think I have to go get some more stone uh, for that which is not a big deal so um yeah we're uh, we're making lots of headways on on like the building things oh let's put our gates in I forgot about those that one get rid of that put that there 
and there we go now it's just a cube it's just a cube I'll probably do some slope stuff but for now it's just I want to get a basic you know structure with some walls on it um, you know let's see how many more walls we can make the large stone walls I make like five more that's fine yeah and then we're out of resources so it's all good though let's go ahead and place this back somewhere around here yeah, we can like put it right there maybe yeah that'll be fine so yeah no it's going great it's going great we got a, a livable place uh, as soon as you know we get these snails I'm, I'm really anxious for them to start producing and then we'll have pretty much limitless supplies of the polymer and uh, cementing paste it's called achatina paste but whatever it, it is paste so that will be wonderful I am going to now probably go out looking for a predator dino I don't yet have any I don't yet have any um, prime meat which would be preferable so maybe we'll we'll start local see if I can kill something with prime on it with my trike because the trike is the most powerful that I've got at the moment and um, if we can do that we kill a bronto or something with the trike oh 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 before we do anything guys I almost forgot let's not go anywhere without getting a spyglass what I, what I think I'm gonna do is uh, we'll need this and we need cementing paste I think fiber and hide I forget but we're gonna craft up oh and crystal uh, we're gonna craft up a spy okay and wood for that one I'm gonna craft up both a spyglass and a super spyglass um, and I have a reason for this uh, <laughs> they may have adjusted the super spyglass I don't know but uh, I've had some problems that the super spyglass doesn't show me like other people's like information on other people's dinos uh, which sometimes it's important to know who you're who you're dealing with right so I don't need the demo gun on me I'll just leave that in there um, so I'll oftentimes utilize you know one or the other of the different spy glasses for you know the different purposes the super spy glass obviously have better zoom you don't have to zoom in without uh, like in order to see data on creatures and it gives you more information so that's you know it's good in many ways um, but like I said, for friendly neighborhood dinos and things, oftentimes it doesn't give you the information that you want. So, and I am making lots and lots of narcotics because I'm going to need those later. And I'm going to right now, before we take off, make a bunch of stimulants also. So those are going to be going and I'll keep getting levels from those. Let's bump up our hit points a little bit more. We've already got 2,500 weight. Uh, I'm not satisfied with that, you know, because with these gather rates and stuff, it it you get you get full very very fast. So I've also got lots of metal cooking. I haven't given up on my idea of the um, of the Anki, but I think I'll go looking for one at night. Uh, and since I don't use gamma, um, I don't want to bother recording that while I'm searching for it. I might bring you guys in when I actually tame it. So for now, I'm going to look for anything that's going to give me some prime meat. There's a there's a Bronto there. Let's take a quick look at it using our super spy glass. Is that the super? Yeah. A 336 Bronto, 36,000 hit points. We can take it. Hey, we can take it. We are not afraid. We've got we've got a really strong trike here so let's just let's just get on him see I'm doing 7,000 he's hitting me for 400 so not not an issue at all oh well come here come here come here although he does push me off uh, where did he go 
Come here, dude. Can you pass through that? Yeah, come on through that. We'll get him down here. Come here, Bronto. And, yeah. He's doing some knockback on me, but I, I think we're fine. There we go. There we go. Look at that. And we got 50 raw prime out of it. So that's good. Yep, that's really good. I do want to get a decently powerful predator. Um, we might have to do a trap uh, method, which is not a bad idea to, like, maybe if I, right here, while it's relatively safe, I go ahead and gather up what I'll need to make, to make a trap and just lure them into a trap area. I can either use just pillars or like dino gates, depending on what I plan to uh, to trap. I will need some wood and thatch as well. So I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, that's plenty of thatch. Oh, <laughs> he just killed a conflagrant data, dodo without me. And that's fine. Um, so let's level him up real quick. I'm going to give him... He's pretty good on hit points. Give him a little more speed and a little more melee. Probably need to give him some more weight also. But I think what I'll do right now is... Drop all those. And drop all of those. That's fine for now. So as we're going around here, I'll probably gather up a little bit more stone, wood, and thatch as needed for manufacturing some stuff. And then I'll queue it up and it'll start. I'll start crafting it while we're just riding around looking for more things to give us prime meat and potentially a predator dino, which I'm thinking our best bet would be to head over near the desert area over there and if I can get some more silica pearls make some more electronics I'll probably do up another teleport pad just to carry with me and then place it wherever you know like I'm gonna do hunting and, and stuff for a while and uh, it'll be a temporary and I'll pick it up later and, and carry it with me but um, all right, for now, let's go ahead and do a little bit of crafting. What I'm going to do is, oops, not crafting. We're going to go under stone, and I'm going to make, I think, we'll do a couple of these, and I'm thinking pillars, medium, we don't need large. Medium stone pillars would probably be all we really need and then some gates yeah okay we're running out of stuff so I'm not sure what we're out of let me just get off here grab some more stone and wood and then we'll definitely be able to do up another gate And then, then we can evaluate if we need more later on. But for now, that should be fine. Put away. No, put away that thing. Okay. And it looks like we got a couple more Brontos over here. Let's check them out before we just go headlong into them. Uh, what is this one? A 392 female and a 504 male. So they'll be mate boosted. But you know what? We can take them. We can freaking take them. Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing really good damage. And this guy's gonna be dead before that other one comes over, if it comes over. And I got 35 more raw prime. Uh, that male didn't bother. Yeah, look at look how much damage I'm doing and how much it does to me. It's not an issue at all. And 30 more prime. So that is great. That is great. 
Oh, look what we got over here. That's a prodigious Eurypterid. And, and all that oil. Basilosaurus is just like the premier source of oil. So I'm going to, okay, I've killed the Basilosaurus. Oh, the sharks ate it, didn't they? No, they didn't. Oh, I just got one of those stupid things. Okay, come here, shark. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get rid of the all this stuff. A conflagrant ang angler. Do not eat that Basilosaurus and a glacial megalodon. Now, those do some damage, and the bleed is pretty severe. So, um, all right. But that being taken care of, I can harvest them. Oh, give me this. Did they eat the Basilosaurus? They did. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. But lots of raw prime meat off of these guys. And some angler gel. All right. Not, not too shabby. And we both got levels. We'll drop that. We'll give him that meat. We'll give him all the meat for now. Oh, we did get the Basilosaurus. Look at the oil. Look at all that oil. That is fantastic. That is just great. So, And we got some black pearls and some regular pearls off that Eurypterid. So, yeah, all in all, that is, that is super good. Super, super good. We're not finding a predator dino that we wanted, but we are finding good stuff that we're going to need. So, you know, no, no complaints. Yeah, and at this point, now that I've got plenty of um, prime, we might just take the, the trichome and get on our flyer and, and go find one that way. And it's super simple to do that because we can just teleport from anywhere we want while we're on the back of our dino here. Now, certain dinos, certain large dinos, you can't be riding them when you do the, t the remote teleport because it's just like their feet need to be in the sphere and you're too high above their feet for that. But these birds are good source of, of that organic polymer. You don't have to rely on killing like mantises to get that stuff. But our our snails should be like totally mature by the time we get home anyway. So, and I'm going to have tons of narco berries also just from, you know, incidental collection while I'm killing this stuff. And all the fish meat and stuff, I just spoil that up to make more narcotic with. So, also, we are of level now that, let me check here real quick. Um, we want to learn that DPS strength rifle. That will simplify our taming. There we go. This, this is the ticket right there. So, let's learn the massive darts. These are super expensive. Look at... They're 50 narcotics per and 5 millilingots and a hide. Well worth it though. Very much so. So we're going to learn that. And that is great. Okay, it's dark. I don't like to be out here at the dark. And we're going to just head home right now to Rooks. Look at this. Now you can't put away your remote while it's active like that. You got to wait until you finish teleporting and then you can put it away. Um, just something to note. It's not a big deal. It's just something to note that if you try and put it away too soon, you won't teleport anywhere. So, all right. And now we can pick these guys up. I mean, I could have individually put the that um, pickup thingy on each one of them. Um, but, okay, as I'm putting them in here, I'm going to enable wandering. So each one of those goes in. We enable wander and then they start producing paste and come on open up paste and 
organic polymer. Yeah, this is going to take a, a little bit. It's a little tedious, but nothing too cumbersome. And we will wander. And now you see why I have the doors set to auto close. So I can just do this. The doors aren't going to be opening up like crazy every time I get close to them. Um, but then they're also never going to be left open when I leave. So that, that makes things simpler. Fantastic. We're almost done with the ones outside here. Of course, we've got a couple more over there. I don't need all of these, frankly. See, they're already producing the paste. I could pick it up off the ground like that, but it, that's silly. It doesn't ma matter. Um, just these single pieces on the ground. I, I pick it up just because I'm, I do that stuff. You know, it's like it's an egg. It's this or that on the ground. Pick it up. Um, but they will be producing so much. And we can auto collect it, or not auto collect it, but we can pull it in, like, like for instance, if I go to the refrigerator, I can just have it from the S plus refrigerator. I can pull it from all these guys all at once. So, super convenient that way. Um, I think that's all. I should make myself a torch. Carry a freaking torch around. Okay, now we got these ones over here. That's fine. Only four more. But once these guys are in here like this, I don't really ever have to come in here again. Because of the... Oh, there's five more. My God. <laughs> because of the auto... Uh, or the, uh, the resource pulling capabilities of the... Um, uh, enable Wanderer. Of the S plus so that's that okay now we're getting stuck now we're getting stuck in here come on all right you go over there and now I go out here oh so many snails yeah previously I had like 200 snails or something. My whole base was completely overrun with snails. Um, I had eight refrigerators filled with organic polymer. I was throwing the stuff out. It was ridiculous. I had way more than I would ever need. And you use that stuff a lot when you're using the augment station, which I will show you guys um, shortly. Once, once we get enough organic polymer flowing in, I want to I want to um, use that a lot, so let's just enable wander and that is that. Oof! Good lord, <laughs> too many freaking snails. That's just stupid. So all right, now we've got the snails. We've got prime meat on the trike. Um, let's go ahead and take some of those berries. Get some more. Uh, take the spoiled meat and this and that raw fish meat and we'll take this raw prime meat take all that raw prime meat and we're encumbered fine we will take that also now I'm gonna pop this stuff get that going we'll take that And we'll get more narcotics rock in here. Good, 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 good. Put that paste in there. You know what? We don't need the gas in there at all. And we don't need that organic polymer in there at all. What I do need, though, is to make a DPS tank rifle. So we're going to do that right now, if I have all the stuff, which I should. So the DPS, cementing paste, metal ingots, and polymer. 
150, 150, and 120. Okay, so I've got the polymer. Yeah, I've got the polymer on me. I think we just make it in our own inventory, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Okay, so I'll need the cementing paste and metal ingots. No problem. Grab some metal ingots. And we should have cementing paste somewhere. Yes. All right, great. This is fantastic. All right, now we're making that sniper rifle, and we're going to need to make the massive darts for it. That's going to require a lot of narcotics in addition to metal ingots and hide. So let's get our hide. Okay. Then we can go over here and go mass and these darts and I can make, I make quite a few. Not, not a bad number, over 10 of them or 12. Uh, we will see how, how well that does for us. Um, Curious, what am I out of? We have cementing paste and hide. Yeah, we're out of the narcotics, of course. Of course we would be. So, we'll just pop that and that in there. Um, put that in there. I want to keep some of the stone wood and thatch on me to make more structures if need be as we head back out but for now let's put this in here put back our narcotics and the spoiled meat put away the rest of this oh that's the wrong one put that in here and so now we are good to go to to go tame something good, something big. Um, I think I've got everything I need together on that. Um, but uh, despite what my goal was, now I, I switched gears, and now we're better equipped to do it than than I had anticipated first. So. Let's call it for now, and we'll pick it up from this point next time. Thank you all for joining us. I hope you had a good time. And if you did, smash the like button. Let me know you appreciate it, and um, it'll help me out greatly. So thanks again, and I will talk to you again very, very soon.